I thought that Jung should tell me what I should do, whether I should write a book, whether I should uh, get a divorce, what I should do. Mm. And he wouldn't. And so I got mad at him. And uh, I uh, said, why is everybody so mean to me? And he said, why are you so mean to everybody? So I stormed out. And uh, you got what I said there. I said to him, why is everybody so mean to me? And he said, why are you so mean to everybody? That was the trigger point. I was gone for a year, and I wrote him, oh, I don't know, every now and then I'd sit down at the typewriter and write him what a son of a bitch I thought he was, and how when I first got to Europe, Europe everyone thought he was a charlatan, I thought he was too, and, and uh, uh, I didn't, uh, he was the most conceited, vain man, and, and uh, I, you know, I really had a great time. And, um, and you sent all these sent letters? Sent the letters, of course I did. And I thought, I hope he drops dead of a stroke. And uh, I felt very good. I didn't, <laughs> I just felt fine. When I can get mad, my, I, th I can lose five pounds just by getting mad. It's <laughs> just the adrenaline goes, and I just think, you know, it's the opposite of poor little me. And it's, I don't care. They let the wall go and stuff it up. I don't care what happens to me. And um, then one morning I woke up. And I began to laugh. I thought, for God's sake, what's been going on here? What a jack at you. And suddenly I realized, sure, he really hit it. And so I phoned Miss Schmidt, Fräulein Schmidt, and asked if I could have an appointment. And she laughed and said, oh, yes, she said, Professor Jung told me to save some time for you. He thought you'd be calling shortly. <laughs> 